Hey everyone, so I hope you're having a really, really fantastic day. It's been a while since I made a video, and the reason for that is that uh, I had a little baby boy. Uh, he's now two months old, and he is absolutely joyous and so gorgeous, so cute, and we're so in love with him. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry that I didn't share anything of my pregnancy with you guys. Um, but I'll be popping some pictures at the end of this video so that you can see what I look like when I was pregnant. Um, I didn't put on any weight except for baby weight. Um, like, literally, the weight of the baby. And, uh, yeah, I, I loved being pregnant. It was really, really amazing. I know not everybody really enjoys pregnancy, but even, like, the weird, like, nausea at the beginning and stuff, I didn't mind so much. Um, and, yeah, pregnancy was really fantastic for me. Uh, our little boy came a month early, actually, uh, here in Belgium, uh, which was planned. I was always going to have the baby here in Belgium, and um, although I wasn't planning on him being a month early, because of my diabetes, um, he was quite a big baby. Uh, he came out and he was three and a half kilos, and that's quite big. I can't remember what that is in pounds and ounces, but it's pretty big. Uh, he... Yeah, he was fine though. He had a little bit of jaundice and um, he had a little bit of like his lungs weren't developed totally properly, so he was in intensive care in the neonatal unit for three weeks, which was pretty difficult. We had to go backwards and forwards to the hospital, but thankfully we're not too far away. Um, my recovery has been absolutely fantastic, um, as with all pregnant, like as with all births or postnatal periods, there's always like a period of adjustment and your hormones going up and down and you're just kind of getting used to to life as a, a new mum, as a new parent and uh, we've been surviving pretty good um, just now, hitting the two month mark he started to sleep a lot longer so last night he actually slept through the night, he's up six and a half hours between midnight and six o'clock so he did really 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 well and I'm feeling so much brighter this morning because of that and also the weather outside is gorgeous which is really helping we're still both really loving life here in Belgium, especially with our little one. Um, we're taking him out and about and just um, popping in, in a wrap or a carrier and just taking him places. And he absolutely loves it. He's starting to interact a lot more, which is really fantastic and cute. And uh, yeah, we won't be sharing his name or his face just for his anonymity. The actual experience of giving birth was really incredible for me and I just, I loved it actually. I, it started with my waters breaking. <laughs> He's making little noises in the background you might be able to hear. Um, yeah, it started with my waters breaking quite late at night and then I was absolutely convinced that I just wet myself but um, because it was just like way too early um, and then I started having contractions. My actual like labour period <laughs> was like 17 hours. It was quite long. Um, I started contracting quite close together quite quickly as well so we went into the hospital um, and yeah, so 17 hours later he was born. Um, I pushed, or I, I contracted naturally until I was like five centimeters. And by that point I'd been contracting for like 14 hours and I was like, please get me an epidural. I was just absolutely exhausted, um, with no pain relief whatsoever. And, uh, I'm so glad I had the epidural because the last um, like four centimeters because I went from five to six by the time it like took them to get the epidural set up um, was absolutely fantastic and the pushing part took like 45 minutes so he came out perfectly a little bit blue but that's what babies do but yeah anyway his progress since then has been fantastic he's got to wear these little like um, monitors on his body just um, so you can monitor his heart and his lungs just to prevent um, SIDS uh, some infant death syndrome and we're, we're just happy to do that really. Uh, we're cloth diapering as well, which is really, really fun. And um, I can share that with you guys if you want to. It's been really, really easy. Even my gorgeous husband, Pete, um, finds it really simple. And that made him sound like he's simple. He's not simple at all, he's a very intelligent man. But you don't need to be intelligent or unintelligent to use him. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we're breastfeeding as well, which has been a bit of an interesting one where he was in the hospital and things like that. So we've done quite a lot of expressing milk um, with our Medela pump and um, just we've settled into it now and just we're kind of finding a bit of a routine, but not totally yet. We're kind of taking each day as it comes. 
and it's just so much fun. Even like the first few weeks when he came back home, um, we didn't get like heaps of sleep and certainly it was broken sleep, but he's always been a really good sleeper. I think partially that's just the first few weeks when he was alive, he was like really tired because he was really little. And so he got settled into a routine in the unit there in the hospital of like every three or every four hours it ended up being um, where he would feed. So he sort of, he always goes for quite a long break when he's sleeping, so that's kind of nice. Uh, he's sleeping right now, just over in the rocker, and he's just starting to wake up, just throwing his arms around and looking really, really cute. So any questions you have, please like let me know and uh, follow on Instagram if you want to go like back date and see like pictures from uh, when he was born and when I was pregnant. There's quite a lot on Instagram. I'll make sure to pop the link down below so you guys can have a look but yeah I'm, we're doing so well and we're just so happy and uh, I've always wanted to be a mummy and it's just such a blessing that I get to be one and I, I understand that you know not everyone is blessed with not only just a gorgeous baby but a baby at all and I just I feel really really blessed and uh, thank you as well for all of your kind words of support we've just had like a couple of emails and a few comments and just it's been so nice to be able to share the experience with you on Instagram but also um, just to receive your support which through those first few weeks was it was really really difficult um, time for us so I really really appreciate every single kind word and smiley face that you ever sent me <laughs> so thank you so so much for watching this video any questions please do ask I know this is sort of more of an introductory video um, yeah so here are some photos. Thanks for watching. Bye.